If you want to build really professional websites like this on screen while still utilizing high level and other high level automations, stick around and I'll walk you through it. If you're already on high level, you know they have an endless amount of website templates here, but a lot of them tend to look the same. Like these all pretty much look the same, even though they're completely different niches. And what if we want something that looks really professional like this, which is one of my landing pages, or even like this, which is one of our other partners sites about processing. Well, in that case, we're not actually gonna be building within the high level site builder. We're gonna go ahead and navigate over to something called Webflow. Webflow is a no code website building tool and you can pretty much build really, really creative things and really aesthetic sites without coding anything. I've personally learned how to use Webflow within about a day or two, nothing super crazy. And you can actually add some custom other features, which we'll be going over later in this video, how to actually integrate certain high level automations onto and into your Webflow website. Once you go ahead and sign up for Webflow and you can still sign up for free, of course, you can go to the marketplace and see everything that other people have actually also built out as well as some other templates. So let's just go to the library since this is a new feature here. They have really, really clean templates here. Keep in mind, these are for free as well. And I'm sure you can notice as well that these are a lot different from each other compared to the same kind of high level website templates. How are we gonna utilize high level and integrate certain high level features? Well, let me go ahead and jump into my own site here. So this is one of my own landing pages promoting high level and no code SaaS. And as you can see down here, I have a script that only appears on the actual published website. Let me go ahead and pull that up. So at the bottom of my site here, you can see I have a calendar and this looks a lot cleaner on mobile. This site is built out to be for mobile users, but this is the custom code that's listed right here. So I can go ahead and click on the HTML embed and see exactly what I have embedded. So I pretty much copied and pasted the entire Calendly script into this HTML. And speaking of automations as well, Calendly has its own automations. If you didn't know that, maybe you don't use Calendly. I wanted to mention that because you can actually just build stuff in there as well. But say we do want to go ahead and utilize high level automations. Well, what we have to do is go ahead and navigate back to high level. Now, once we're in high level, I'm going to go over to marketing and go to the trigger links tab. So for this example, let's go ahead and build out some sort of system here. So within our website, instead of having a calendar, maybe we want to have a button somewhere that is going to be say book a strategy call. This would pretty much go ahead and open a new tab or some sort of trigger link to track someone and automatically have them in some sort of automation campaign. So for this example, let's go and say that we want this book a strategy call to go ahead and be some sort of trigger link. And when someone clicks on it, they will then go ahead and start falling into a high level sequence of an automation email sequence. So let's go to the tab right here and click on add a link. We're going to name it Webflow book a call and then link URL. So as you can see here, when I go ahead and click on here and then click on the little cog wheel, the URL redirect is my personal booking link to go ahead and talk with people. So say for example, whenever I want someone to go ahead and click on this button, I'm going to actually make this a little trigger link. So let's bring this same link back to high level and enter that here. So I'm going to click on save. And then now pretty much whenever somebody goes to this link and they click on it inside of my Webflow website right here, they're actually going to fall into an automation right here. So <laughs> this, is gonna, this is where it gets fun, right? What's going to be the trigger here? It's going to be a trigger link clicked to start this entire automation right here. So trigger link clicked under the filter and then Webflow book a call, which was, you know, this trigger link right here. Now we're going to click on save. So essentially what I just did is whenever anybody clicks on this button and they get redirected to my Calendly link, they are going to fall into this entire automation here. So you can do anything what you want with this. This is, says email drip sequence. I used the high level template to use this. You can customize this any way you want. This is just kind of complex for no reason. It doesn't really need to be this complex, honestly. But whenever anyone goes ahead and clicks on that Calendly link, whether they go ahead and book or not, you can start some sort of campaign to start promoting something, contacting them, nurturing them, doing whatever, honestly. And since these buttons do have the same exact link, whenever anyone clicks on any of these buttons here, it's still going to redirect them to Calendly and then bring them into the entire automation. And maybe now that you're interested in working on Webflow, you're wondering if you can integrate any videos or cool animations, you actually can do pretty cool animations and you can do videos as well. Right here, this script is embedded and it's not going to show up in the preview here, but on the actual site, it does show up. So 
Let me click on this, click on the cog wheel. This is pretty much my entire Vimeo link. But what are the proper steps to even do this correctly? And how do I even upload a video on my site? Not even using Vimeo, just in general. So let's go over to the top left and you can actually add any of these elements here. So as you can see, images, video, as if like it's hosted on a different site like Vimeo, or you can upload a YouTube video. So there we go. I just pasted the URL link of the video with me and Nate Belmar talking about biohacking and health stuff uh, and some business stuff here. You can change when the video starts, like at what point of the video it'll start playing at. You can have it muted, autoplay. And say another example, you want to go ahead and set up a different trigger link. You could always add a button underneath this that says, you know, sign up to register something, whether it's a webinar or subscribe to our email list, anything like that, and then build out a workflow in high level for it to be triggered. If you're excited to start using Webflow and, you know, making your sites really, really professional while still utilizing high levels, fantastic automations, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be going over more high level tutorials over the next coming weeks and months, pretty much breaking things down more and more. And of course, if you guys are new to high level, go ahead and check out the link in the description. I have an entire free course to help you go from an absolute beginner to then going ahead and signing your first couple clients with the goal of signing them within the first couple weeks of even starting high level. So once again, it's completely free. I go over everything in more depth beyond my YouTube channel here. And as usual, I will see you in the next video.